Hello YouTube and in this video I'm going to be doing an iOBIT software review called the Uninstaller 3. So currently the the iOBIT Uninstaller is in is in beta. So currently the program that I'm looking at is the iOBIT Uninstaller 3 beta. So apart from I from the second version the the third version of the program is a little redesigned to be a little easier and it still maintains the same functionality as the second version. So up here you have your tabs. So we have the old programs tab, recently installed, the large programs, infrequently used and Windows update tabs. So these tabs just help you easily navigate through which programs are under what and what you want to uninstall so I kinda of find that as a helpful guide another, another new tab that we see up here is the browser plugins tab and under the browser plugin tabs basically it shows all the browsers that are uninstalled on your computer so for my computer I have, Chrome, I have Google Chrome IE and Firefox installed so these are the three browsers for which it's going to tell me what plugins I have so under each browser that I click on it will tell me what plugins I have what extensions I have and basically everything that I have for that specific internet browser it will tell me what I have and also here you have the option to restore the default settings if you messed up on on creating your own settings but well I won't be messing with that because I like the settings as I have them so, ba so basically the same functionality is still retain this program if you want to uninstall something just click on the green trash can and it will, un and it will ask you to create a restore point you are not obligated to do so but I would do it just in case if your computer decides to crash or, or if for some reason your computer decides to have a power failure on you so yeah so at least nothing will go wrong if you do the restore point. After the program is done installing and keep in mind that different programs uninstall at different rates. So yeah, so not all programs are going to uninstall as at the same rate. So, so you may have to wait for some programs, and some other programs uninstall fast. So that's a good thing. But once you are finished uninstalling the specific program that you chose, you will have the option to to do a powerful scan. And basically what the powerful scan does is that it scans your computer's hard drive for any registered items left from that program and it will allow you to remove them. So yeah, so that's a useful thing because that's something that Windows Update, no, I mean Windows Uninstaller doesn't let you do. It doesn't remove the registered items from your computer it just leaves them there and you have to use a separate software to remove them on your own but this program it does it for you as well well in fact it even offers the option to do it for you all you have to do is just click on powerful scan and that's it so not and the last useful feature that that i should probably talk about but it's not really a feature just like an organizational tab if you click here it's it gives you like a different layout so I guess that's like the last thing that I could talk about for this program so so far the pro this program is in beta so don't expect it to be absolutely perfect but I've tried uninstalling some programs myself and so far everything has been working as it should be. So I can't wait until the official version of this program comes out. Because in my opinion I find this program more useful than my default Windows uninstaller. 
So that so that's a plus side for me. Well, this is my so this is my review on this software, and I hope that you guys download the software and use it for for yourselves because I find this software to be very helpful for me as it allows me to do more than just uninstalling programs. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.